Hello there. Thank you for joining me for the conclusion of the Norway-Sweden war, where I take half of Norway's lands. Because it's the fair thing to do. Only the strong survive. In EU4. Alright, so I'm just waiting for this. Hopefully it's soon. Because I've already lost 3,000 good men in this war. And I don't want to lose any more. Alright, because these are my people, and I care about them. And, uh... Yep. Oh no, I lost 100 men. Hey, there we go. Alright, so I get two, four, six provinces. How much population is that? That's two, six, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, two hundred thousand people. That's like, how much is that? War enemies? Norway only has forty two, four hundred twenty thousand people, so I'm taking half of their people. I was thinking of maybe taking this or Orkney or whatever that is. F maybe to launch an invasion against Scotland in the future, but they're allied with France. So. can't make it a core anyway. I have to get over there. Alright, so this is a nice nice piece deal. Alright. No marriage. I need to watch these rebels. 7,000 is not bad. Sweden gets bigger. If I could take some territory from Novgorod, I'd probably be the biggest nation in terms of land mass. Or at least, maybe White Horde would beat me in this area, just, you know, Asia and stuff. England is getting destroyed. Wow, I've never seen this before. Usually there's no invasion of England. interesting. What is this war over? Oh, the Portuguese succession war. Huh. So Portugal is a junior partner of Castile, and it looks like it's going to stay that way for the near future. Probably the entire playthrough, actually. Most likely. AI, uh, PUs usually don't break that often. Castile is a pretty big nation, so they can handle Portugal. So, they'll probably have it for the rest of the game.
from that foil. Parliamentarians have risen in Sweden. They want to change the type of government to oligarchic republic. I'm not I'm not gonna bother with them. <clears throat> I can immediately make this stuff a core. That's interesting. Good news. It's like what? It's like 0.6 ducats a month in maintenance. It's too much now. 0.75 ducats. They are really, they increase that. It's going to take six years for those cores. I have nine favors with Poland. I'm not, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to forget Novgorod for now, and I'm going to call Poland in a war against the Teutonic Order. I'm not going to give them land, because I want them to do most of the heavy lifting, and if I have them do most of the heavy lifting, then they're going to want most of the um, territory from the war. So I'm going to try to take as much of the Livonian Order, this territory, and their vassals as I can. Or maybe uh, take some territory here, remove the Teutonic Order. If I take maybe this, 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 and this, if that's even possible. It doesn't seem like it adds up. I think, I think it adds up to more than 100%. But if I took this stuff, then Poland would get this stuff, and then I don't think they would the Teutonic Order would become a vassal. Because they wouldn't exist. That's my thinking. More corruption. It's rather unfortunate. Spy network. Um, okay, so what is the most expensive? It's tied. So I'll take Sambia. Dump them. Build a great palace. So I can build a grand palace, gain 25 legitimacy, 15 prestige, 31 ducats. Don't build it, lose 5 prestige, build this, 55. Well, I don't need more legitimacy. Sure, I'll build a grand palace, make it as grand as possible. What is their government type now? Okay, so the Republic. And they want to become an oligarchic Republic. I'm going to check out the uh, population. 
Revelation. Did not really increase. But now there's urban gravity. I don't think there was urban gravity before. So that's good. I need to pour all of my money into my capital. HRE becomes a little less powerful <coughs> so that I can conquer this area. When do I get those favors? January 1402. Alright. Less than a year. Alright, these Danish rebels are popping up. 7,000 still. There and over here. When is the peace deal with Norway? Fourteen, fourteen years. All right. So I'll attack the Teutonic Order. Oh no! Damn! Damn it! <clears throat> well, that throws all my plans out the window. It seems like all my plans this game have not been uh, working out. Like right when I got ten favors with Lithuania, they Poland took them. As her junior partner now, nine, but uh, less than half a year or whatever away from attacking the Teutonic, the Teutonic Order, they attack them, and now they're going to get them all as vassals. So that's unfortunate. My uh, expansions in this game is really limited. I guess I'll just use them to attack Novgorod. Try to conquer as much from Novgorod as possible before Muscovy does. Maybe they'll lose? Probably not. I'd still have to wait a while for the peace deal to expire. And that really wouldn't bode well for me anyway. They're calling they called Hungarian. So they're not gonna lose this. Not with their twenty thousand whatever troops. Teutonic order ones. Uh, boys will be boys, sure. Alright, so now I have to wait for Poland to get out of this war with the Teutonic Order so I can use him to attack Novgorod. How's the court looking? The uh, Livonian orders taken Lithuania's territory. Decreasing. 
my education level is gonna suck until I get some universities, so I'm not gonna pump a bunch of money into that. I believe my tax income is less it's 0 0.66 stuck at the month because of overextension I'm losing. That's a lot of money for me right now. Using Poland on Novgorod might be overkill, but I really don't have anyone else to attack. I don't think they would... They might attack these guys. And now this, it pushed it back to 1404. Alright, I'm not sure why that happened. Did it not say 1402? be a good spot for a uh, fort because of that attrition for enemies plus three fort level plus one garrison growth local defensiveness that's a perfect place for a fort what trade node are they in half in hansa half in north sea it, it is an idea to attack them but i'm not sure I got plenty of time to figure it out anyway. I think over over time the HRE is gonna weaken. But Moscow Muscovy is just gonna eat all of this territory. So I think it might be a higher priority for me to take as much from Novgorod as I can right now, because this is always gonna be here most likely. Like if someone no one who's gonna conquer these guys? They might get an APU under somebody, but they're not going to be strong, because it'll be one of these powers. So I think my priority should be over here in Novgorod. And limiting Muscovy.
Good news is this war should end soon. Hopefully. Although they haven't started attacking Livonian Horde yet. But they're moving there. Gonna have my manpower back. It's nice. I'm gonna switch to admin because I have hardly any admin. And my military tech is 11, so. And I'm 7 years ahead of time. So that's, that's looking good. Oh, here's a battle. Looks like the not Poland Alliance is going to win that. Against Hungary. So this war, they got these provinces back. This war is not going to be over as soon as I thought it was. It's going to drag out. Alright, I'm going to end this part here. Thank you for watching. Please join me next time.